Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus, the Son of the living God. Their soul shall enter into their own heart, and their bow shall be broken. Psalm 37 verse 15. Their soul shall enter into their own heart, and their bow shall be broken. Every instrument, every equipment that is being held against you to harm you and to attack you, by the word of the Lord, it will attack the perpetrators, it will attack the bearers, it will attack the holders thereof. Every instrument and equipment being held against you, being used against you, shall be broken by the word of the Lord. The Lord secure you, the Lord preserve you, and the Lord protect you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and Amen. I want to welcome you precious one once again to Rising with Jesus. On your favorite television station, Precious Television. This is the program God has decided to use to draw you closer to himself, to build your faith, and to give you advanced victory. On this note, I want us to lift our voice and say thank you to Jehovah. Thank you to the Almighty because he has been gracious unto us. Lift your voice and bless the Lord. Lift your voice and sanctify his name. Lift your voice and appreciate him. Lift your voice and magnify him in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we thank you and we thank you. We say thanks a million. We have no cause to complain against you. We have no reason to murmur against you. Because Lord, you have done us only good. You have not done us any evil. Receive our thanksgiving. Accept our appreciation. In the mighty name of Jesus, take all the glory and all the praise. You have preserved us. You have provided for us. You have sustained us. You have delivered us. You have intervened for us. You have silenced the assault, the attacks of the enemy. We thank you so much. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and Amen. Precious one, very soon we will be entering into a serious time of prayer. But we want to share the word of God to build your faith before. And today we are continuing on the subject we started. The power of faith or the force of faith. The power of faith or the force of faith. And we want you to understand that faith, faith in the Bible is defined as the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So faith will always give you a substance and faith will always give you an evidence. Once you believe in the word of God, your future and your victory is guaranteed. Anybody who is walking in faith is able to overcome the challenges. We have also learned that faith is a spirit and fear is a spirit. Both faith, both faith and fear are stimulatable by what we hear and by what we see. There is a scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 7. The Bible says that there was given unto me a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, chapter 12 from verse 12. So this is Apostle Paul. He is an apostle of faith. But the Bible said a messenger of Satan was sent to, to assault him. A messenger of Satan was sent to afflict him. The messenger of, of Satan was sent to beat him and to knock him and to give him some slaps. And so he was under the assault of the messenger of Satan. This was the apostle of faith the major apostle of Jesus Christ. And when he asked the Lord to take away the attack of the enemy, he did that three times. And the Lord said unto him, my, my grace is sufficient for you. Instead of God taking away the attacks, God said unto Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. Anytime you are going through something and you are a person of faith, there are times you may be going through something for quite a long time. What you need is sufficient grace from God. You need sufficient grace from God. When you are going through prolonged trials, prolonged temptations, or prolonged attacks, what you need is, 
is sufficient grace from God to be able to overcome. If you don't have the grace, if you don't experience sufficient grace, what will happen is that you will throw in the towel and you will give up and you will walk out of faith. When you walk out of faith, the enemy gets the victory and the enemy is able to discredit you. And so one of the things you have to trust God for a lot of the times is to ask him for more grace, sufficient grace, sufficient grace. Once you have sufficient grace, you will be able to outlast the trial. Once you have sufficient grace, you'll be able to overcome the assault. Once you have sufficient grace, you'll be able to prevail over the snare and the trap that the enemy has set for you. So what you need is more grace. What you need is more grace. What you need is more grace. I pray that sufficient grace will be released upon you and over your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The more grace you have, the more victory you will get. And the, and, and the Lord said unto Paul that my strength is made perfect in your time of weakness. Anytime you realize or you feel that you are weak, remember that is when the strength of the Lord is magnified in your favor. In your time of weakness, in your time that you have gotten to your wit's end, in your time that you think that the enemy has finished you, around that time, the strength of God is magnified. The strength of God is is enhanced in your life and in your favor in the mighty name of jesus christ when you feel weak the lord is not weak when you feel vulnerable the lord is not vulnerable when you feel disadvantaged the lord is not disadvantaged the lord has taken over that battle the lord has taken over that trial the lord has taken over that negative situation and he's about to turn it around for you only believe the word of god and trust in the word of god and continue to speak faith don't speak doubt because anytime you speak doubt you put God off anytime you, you speak doubt you dismiss God out of your life and your situation but when you speak faith you attract God when you speak faith you invite God when you speak faith God is pleased and God comes into your situation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 says that the just shall live by faith Galatians chapter 3 verse 11 says that the just shall live by faith. So faith is an attribute of the justified. Once you are justified, you can walk in faith. He says the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. So faith is an attribute of the justified. When you refuse to walk in faith, your justification is questioned or challenged. When you refuse to walk in faith, your justification, your salvation is challenged. It is questioned. If you don't walk in faith, your salvation is questionable because it is by faith that we are saved. When you express faith in the word of God, when you express faith in the word of God, it makes you legitimate and it advocates for you. When you express faith in the word of God and you express, express faith in God, it makes you legitimate and it also makes God to advocate for you. Expressing faith in God ensures that you don't become illegal because the enemy can pronounce you illegal in the realm of the spirit. The enemy can pronounce you illegitimate. The enemy can declare that what you are believing God for, what you are trying to, to, to achieve or to receive, you are illegitimate. You don't deserve it. You don't qualify for it. As long as you are not walking in faith, the enemy can do that to you. But when you are walking in faith, your legitimacy is established. When you are walking in faith, you receive divine advocacy. God begins to speak for you. Heaven begins to speak for you. Once you walk in faith, the Holy Spirit speaks for you. Angels speak for you. The Lord of Jesus Christ also speaks for you. But when you walk in doubt and unbelief, God is silenced in your situation. But I pray that God will not be silenced in your situation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Faith in the word of God. And faith in God is your defender. It will defend you. Yes, it will exonerate you. Your faith in God will attract God in your favor. Once you exercise faith in God, you are vindicated. You are justified. You are acquitted. You are released. You are loosed. You are set free. 
Once you exercise faith in God, doubt will make you attackable. Doubt will make you distractible. Doubt will make you guilty. Doubt will make you a captive. Doubt will make you a slave. But today is your day of rescue and you are being released and loosed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Outside of faith, when you walk outside of faith, you will be denied, you will be disapproved and you become invalidated. When you walk outside of faith, you will be refused, you will be deserted and you will be rejected. But I pray that by the spirit of faith that you are receiving today, you shall not be rejected, you shall not be deserted. I pray for you that you shall not be refused in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you shall not be denied. I pray for you that you shall not be disapproved in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare by the spirit of faith that you shall not be pronounced invalid in the name of Jesus. I declare that your position shall be valid. Your placement shall be valid. I declare that your glory, your establishment shall be valid. I declare that the request you are making shall be valid by the spirit of faith in the name of Jesus Christ. As long as you express faith in God and in the word of God, every accusation against you shall be broken. Every attack against you shall be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. When you walk in faith, you overthrow every blame that is coming against you. Every charge that is being leveled against you, you overthrow it by faith. Yes, it is faith that overrules every contradiction and every condemnation released against you. It is faith that will overrule every contradiction and every condemnation release every domination release against you faith will overrule it in the name of jesus christ every negative sentence released against you faith will swallow it up anything that is implicating you and making you incriminated faith will swallow it up in the name of jesus christ without faith in the realm of the spirit you are considered a criminal without faith in the realm of the spirit you are considered a criminal because you are trying to collect something that you don't deserve. You are trying to collect something you don't have the currency for. When you go into a shop or into a store to collect something without money, without anything you use to exchange, you are considered a thief. You become a criminal. Faith is the spiritual currency by which we collect things in the realm of the spirit. Faith is the spiritual currency by which we take things from heaven. And so when you want to take things from heaven and you want to take things from the realm of the spirit without faith spiritually you attack a criminal by the spirit beings by the spiritual world you attack a criminal without faith you become depraved without faith your destiny is doomed without faith the enemy can impeach you but with faith the enemy cannot impeach you the enemy cannot punish you when you walk in faith and so you have to exercise faith Romans 10 17 faith comes by the word of God faith comes by the word of God without the word of God faith has departed without the word of God faith is dismissed without the word of God faith is not around it is the word of God that invites faith when you start speaking the word of God when you start thinking about the word of God when you start meditating on the word of God when you start considering the word of God before you take your decisions, then faith is invited. Faith is attracted. That is when we say you are walking in faith. If you are operating in any way and the word of God is not considered, then you are not walking in faith. You are walking in your mind and your strength. You are walking in presumption or assumption. And that kind of faith will not last. Any faith that is not produced by the word of God cannot stand the test of time. Yes, the enemy can break your backbone. The enemy can demoralize you. The enemy can, can immobilize you because your faith is not solid. Your faith, the foundation of your faith is not solid. It is not rocky. It is sandy. Once you are connected to the word of God, you can exercise faith without struggle. Galatians chapter 2 verse 16 says that knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. By the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. 
so it is your faith in Christ Jesus yes that vindicates you that exonerates you that protects you that preserves you your faith in Christ Jesus makes you guiltless makes you guiltless makes you untouchable you have to connect with the word of God so that your faith will be solidified your faith will be solidified connect with the word of God by reading the word by listening to the word yes by thinking about the word that is when your faith is solidified Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 says that now the judge shall live by faith but if any man draw back my soul shall have no pleasure in him. it is lack of faith that makes people to draw back in their walk with God they backslide it is lack of faith when your faith has been starved when your faith has been weakened when your faith has been paralyzed what happens is that you draw back you lose your commitment to God you lose your zeal for God you reverse from following God you start murmuring and complaining it's an indication that your faith is weakened and paralyzed but I pray for you in the name of Jesus every situation you are in that has killed your faith that has disarmed your faith that has dismantled your faith I command that situation humiliated in the mighty name of Jesus. I command that negative situation disarmed totally in the name of Jesus. I release a baptism of fresh faith upon you. I release a baptism of the spirit of faith upon you in the name of Jesus. The garment of faith is released upon you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command your faith revitalized. I command your faith revamped. I command your faith repowered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command a new dawn for you in the realm of faith right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command your faith re-energized. I command your faith refueled by the spirit of faith in the name of Jesus. Receive that impartation right now as you watch me and listen to me. Receive that impartation right now. In the name of Jesus, your days of weakness are over. Your days of impotency are over. Your days of invalidity are over. A new day has started for you. You are taking over and you are prevailing by the spirit of faith. In the name of Jesus, I command faith to go ahead of you. And as every door that must open to you sees the spirit of faith, the door will open. The obstacle will crash and sink before you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth you are blessed and your life is never the same I want you to surrender your life to Jesus Christ wherever you are watching me from pray this prayer with me right now say Lord Jesus I thank you and I come to you as I am be merciful to me forgive me of all my sins wash me with your precious blood come into my life be my Lord and my Savior let my life be a testimony to those who know me thank you mighty God for answering prayer Amen. Amen. Your life is never the same. Lift your voice and bless the Lord right now for this encounter. Lift your voice and bless the Lord for this encounter. Yes, you are going out to Tore. You are going out prevailing. Lift your voice and bless the Lord for opening your eyes, for taking you to a higher level. Bless and magnify His name for the victories, for the openings. Father, we bless you. Thank you for this glorious. Thank you for new grace. Thank you for new liberty. Thank you for new favor. Thank you for new power. Thank you for fresh oil over their lives in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Precious one, you want to pray that every cowry revealing your secrets to your enemy will catch fire and scatter. Every cowry, every cowry revealing your secrets to the enemies will catch fire and scatter. Lift your voice and declare it right now. The cowry, the instrument of the enemy, the equipment of the enemy, the mechanism of the enemy revealing your secrets to the devil for them to undo you we are praying that it will catch fire and scatter in the name of jesus christ every cowry that have been used to do something against you that your business is not working your destiny is not working your marriage is not working to catch fire and scatter let that cowry catch fire and scatter in the name of jesus that cowry fighting your 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 your, your finances that cowry fighting your, your your career let it catch fire and scatter right now wherever it has been buried wherever it has been planted against you let that cowry catch fire and scatter in the mighty name of jesus christ brazaka lo sataya malaga zoka Lei Babata Kalia Brazato, Milakata Carosa, Malakata Kaya. 
catch fire and scatter. Rosi bro, zagala baladosa. Kauri speaking against you. Kauri turning situations and circumstances against you. We command them to catch fire and scatter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Brazoka lo sita. Libra zanda rabazota. Landa brazaka libra zoya. Molodo zaya. Malaga zagara sota. Mologo sataya. Landa brazaka ro sataya. Malada basaka. Late karo saka libra zande. Mologo ziko roba da. Mele de zika. Lata kapaswa kalo sako. Aro se mele de seteya. Reba banda brasoka. Leba baza to ramasa kata kalia. Brazaga la baluando saya. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are going to pray that every, every government of evil powers over your life will break right now. Every government of evil powers over your life will break right now. Lift your voice and pray. Every government of evil powers over your shop, over your business, over your career, over your home, over your marriage. Yes, will break right now. We break the satanic government. Government of evil powers over your life. We break it in the name of Jesus. We break it. We break the rulership. Of evil powers we break we break the rain the rain of evil powers over any branch of your life we break the influence of evil powers over any aspect of your life we break it in the name of jesus rato kapasaya we declare you independent we declare you liberated we declare you released we declare you emancipated in the name of jesus we break that bondage from your life in the name of jesus christ malado saka lata kapaswa lizo brazeka ligi Ligo zoka losa. Lanta kapasoke. Ligo zoka liga. Rando bazige. Malia brazwa. Kalakato kaso. Le babata kalibro zeke. Melege zege romosa. Malada baswa kalata. Hey tokolomo ko siko. Aro bade baba sataya. Malaga zako roma sua. Likwata kaliko mosoka. Liza braza galabaladaya. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Finally, you want to pray that any sand linking you with evil powers will expire by fire. Any sand, any sand linking you to evil powers will expire by fire. Yes, lift your voice and pray. Wherever they have collected the sand from under the sole of your feet, wherever they have collected the sand from where you place your feet, from where you stepped, and they have used it to do something evil against you. We pray that it will expire by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sand linking you to satanic altars, satanic powers, evil forces for manipulation, we declare it dismantled. We declare it scattered. We declare it expired by fire. We declare it destroyed by fire. We declare it is destroyed in the name of Jesus. We declare it nullified in the name of Jesus Christ. Brazo Kalosa, Maladasa, Lai Bata Kalosa, Rando Base Kalosaya, Belede Zete, Rando Makosa, Kalabada Babazwa, Randa Bazagala Balota, Rande Mekese, Malida, Rata Kalia Brazwaka, Landa Basa Kataka, Loko Seke. Rei babata kalusa molodosia rei babata kalibra sataya we disarm their mechanisms yes we disarm their strategies in the name of Jesus Christ bilita kaswaka lo ziko romo soko lizo braze kalataya kilata kapaswaka luze razo balite le meke seke kalata paswaka rando bozoka ya in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for answered prayer. Receive all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. I want to pray with you right now. You are sick in any part of your body. God is going to touch you right now. Lay your hand where you are hurting. Stretch from the other hand to the screen as I pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, spirits of sicknesses, diseases, affliction, oppression, be bound in their lives. Come out. In Jesus' name, I speak healing for your head. I speak healing for your eye. I speak healing for your neck. I speak healing for your jaw. I speak healing for your spine. I speak healing for your waist, for your, for, for your knee, for your feet. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet, be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare your expectations granted. I declare your doors open. I declare your heritage released into your hands. I declare every disappointment removed from, from your life. In the name of Jesus, receive your victory now. 
in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Precious one, this book is a must read for you. Move that mountain, the principles of faith, written by my dear bishop, Bishop Charles Ejina. Sorry. Yes, it will put into your hands the keys of faith that will move and uproot every obstacle from your life and deliver your testimonies into your hands. Please call the numbers on the screen. Get a copy for yourself and I know that your life will never, never be the same. Before I leave you, I want to invite you to our two powerful anointed services at the Perez Dome where my bishop, Bishop Chasen Jinasari, ministers the powerful word of God. We have two services. The first service is from 6 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. And the second service is from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. every Sunday. Come this Sunday and I tell you, the Lord will visit you as my bishop ministers the word. Until I see you again tomorrow, remember this is rising with Jesus and I see you rising already. Amen.